welcome to this so uh, fix it channel and today we're going to actually talk about how do you access the dark web we talked about what it was in the previous video how do you access the dark web you access the dark web using a special browser and that browser one of them because there are several types but one of the most popular one is the tor browser and it comes from the tor project so basically this is a browser that will actually connect you to what is the dark web through an encrypted tunnel and it will actually create the connections if you wish to download it you uh, i will post a link to this page in the description below the video you can click the download button uh, available for windows mac uh, linux and uh, you don't really need to install any software you can actually run off a usb flash drive uh, if you want, which means that basically all it does is not leave a trace in your PC. So if you run it, for example, from a USB flash drive, you can just access with the Tor browser temporarily. You remove the flash drive, nobody will know that you actually use the Tor browser and uh, access the dark web. Um, this is what the browser looks like once it's actually loaded. One thing that it tells you not to do is to put it in, in full screen mode. Why? <clears throat> because it's one of the reasons, the, uh, the the ways that you could be traced technically. So often it will tell you, don't don't max out the screen. So for example here, maximizing, it says here, maximizing for the Tor browser can allow websites to determine your monitor size, which can be used to track you. So it always, you know, tells you don't do too much of these things. And, you know, this is a browser that's meant really to browse the uh, web in a very, very uh, different manner than the regular Google Chrome, say. And it accesses the web through different connections. So when you actually use the Tor browser, you are connected randomly to a computer somewhere, a little bit like a VPN, if you want. And this browser will actually give you access to many, many websites that are um, available. And it has as a default search engine, of course, DuckDuckGo to uh, try to stay secure and anonymous. So all you have to do is, you know, get this browser installed, run it, and um, you can search the web for, uh, you know, all sorts of website. And you can, of course, also go to, you know, uh, regular websites uh, if you wish to go to by typing their um, you know URL at the top but even when you are in a website like this it will not know where you are for example if you go to google.com like right now it's actually not it doesn't know where I am it will actually try to locate me um, if I do for example where am I in the Google search here we'll see what it's gonna do and uh, it's gonna tell me that okay the IP I'm not a robot. Okay. So it wants me to find a storefront. Uh, yeah, so you see here, it's asking me for little things like that because it wonders, where am I? So our system detected unusual traffic from your computer network. Please check to see if you're really sending the request. So this is uh, basically telling everybody where exactly am I what am I what what's this there's weird traffic coming off of my PC and it's because of the browser itself actually so um, you know just uh, use this browser to search for dark websites if you know already some websites in the dark web uh, one of the things that um, you'll need to do is of course use a browser like this one the Tor browser it's very important. Many of the websites that you're searching for will end in .onion, which is typical of um, websites that are actually made for the dark web. Facebook, for example, has a .onion access where you could actually be more anonymous. So uh, the Tor browser, check it out. And uh, this is um, very different. And if you find it a little slow, it's because it does a lot of different connections in order to access whatever you ask for compared to a regular browser like Chrome that will connect you directly. But everything that you do within the browser is encrypted and most of it will be done in an anonymous way. 
Last but not least, don't forget, even though it's safer, it's not impossible to track you. There are some bad guys I've been tracked and actually uh, that I've been uh, arrested for doing bad things on the dark web because of the way that sometimes they can actually put little you know, servers and uh, they'll put an onion server somewhere and track you from there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.